Well, welcome everyone. This is our what is my third auction, and I got with me is is Wolf Toy Jerry. Um, he's with me, and I also got a, a surprise guest. Melanie is with me. <laughs> so um, let's see if we can get some people to come in. Um, yeah. It takes a few minutes for the we got a 14 second left. Okay. Okay. And somebody has their mic up or no? No, it stopped. Okay. I was no, getting I, I, I had to. Um, I'm, I'm popping out the chat. So I oh, could use. Dad, yeah. So I can use that in StreamYard. It's so cute when you see my dad's here. That's just cute. <laughs> Well, I'm just glad we got rid of the white elephant at the last show, and we don't have to have it at this show. And what white elephant are we talking about? I can bring out more white elephants. Yeah. You might have more. I don't have any more bags. See, there we go. No more bags. She said it was the only one she had. It was the only one I had, yes. But now I got other stuff that could be white elephant gifts, too. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, every often I am going to bring an item strictly for that office special time that when you want to fool around with your coworkers or give a white elephant, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Is that what I'm going to start off with? To start to I have no idea. Uh, I'm waiting for a few more people to come through. Yeah. We only have five. We only have five? Because I'm like, yeah. I, I can bring them out and just start gently talking about it and be like, this is a perfect gift. You, you know what I do? I mean, I, I could I could build up the uh, intensity because, you know, when you have that nice romantic time with you and your loved one and you just want to get it on, I got the product for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you're you're gonna like this. I saw this and I bought the entire shelf when I saw this, and and I was with a friend. My friend's like, "You are crazy." I'm like, "I know I'm crazy, but this is funny." <laughs> but I will wait patiently. I've got it right here. <laughs> but who well, do we have? Welcome, flipping cruders. Hello. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> yep. That's Rebecca. Rebecca, yep. okay. And then we have Mr. Mendoza as well. Hello. Oh, my goodness. We're going yeah, to get it on with a little we romance. Go. We got to get light the candles. Maybe have a glass of wine. You can share it out. Share, share the video out so we can get some more people in here. Yeah. Yeah, let me, you know, something, I will do that right now. I did it before, but there we go. Auction time. Let's do it. We could sing a song like, let's get it on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Somebody's just a little bit too much wine in their diet. I have to, I have to be happy. I had a bad day yesterday. We won't talk about yesterday. That's why today I'm smiling. Okay. <laughs> That's what I said. We're not talking about yesterday. For those of you who saw my video, you know what happened yesterday. I had to put my little kitty down. So, so today is smiling. Oh, I missed that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I saw one of them, but I didn't remember seeing the, the, the one about the cat being put down. Well, okay. My cat was put down yesterday. And he's oh, like, how old, was, how old was it? 21 years old. That's like mine. The one I had, um, yeah. I had, she was like 22, I think. Mm -hmm. I had it for a long time. So he, he was an old boy, but that's okay. Because you know, so yesterday I did what I had to do. Today we're going to have a little chips, Lisa's treasures, pick with joy. And look, see, we got everybody. All right. Dawn's right. yeah. here. Or we is that Felix? Mary or Dawn, I'm not sure which one. We have the whole oh, both. We got Lisa. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. 
If you guys are looking for anything particular, just let us know. If yes. one of us has it, we'll put it out for bid. Put it in the chat if you're looking for something particular. I'm going to try to specialize in white elephant crazy gifts. <laughs> I did that last time. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to start off with the ultimate white elephant crazy gifts. This is my special one. But you got to remember, as long as it makes money, who cares? That's true. But this one, I, I fell in love with this one. I'm going to keep one for myself. <laughs> Oh, you both are on. Okay. They're both on. <laughs> They're both on. All and right. no, way, no, no magic cards at this show. No magic cards. No, I don't have any magic cards. No, no cards. <laughs> I I have cards. They're just not magic cards. I know two hip chicks would love magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but well, thank, you, thank you, Lisa, for the prayers. Thank you. I appreciate that. But yes, I got to I gotta keep a smile. So are you going to get a new kitty or? I already have two. I had three. So now oh, okay. Oh, okay. I th thought yeah. maybe I could ship one down to you. Oh, no. I woke, up, I woke up this morning. One was sleeping on my hip. One was at my feet. So I'm like, yeah, they love me. That's okay. <laughs> well, that's when you know that they love you. Like mine, I used to have to sleep in the bed and my legs would be spread because she'd be right in the middle. So I couldn't move all night. It's like, okay. You know, I get up and I'm like, oh my God. Yes. It's warm there, Jerry. <laughs> okay. We're dying out too early. <laughs> I'm really time here. <laughs> I think it's time to get started. Yeah, I think it's time to get started. Let's go. Now that you've seen that they're on the porno channel. <laughs> All righty. Okay, 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 everybody. This is Here my we go. this is my first white elephant gift because you know. When you want to just have a nice, relaxing evening with your loved one, what are you going to do? You are going to keep it sexy with Kenny G. <laughs> okay? But no, Kenny G plays the saxophone. And he just, it's amazing. And it is a game with the power of jazz. It even includes a wooden Kenny G. Out of wood. I saw this. I fell in love. What are you laughing at? Of course you're laughing at me. So, so you mean his flute is made out of wood, huh? Yes, he could play his flute. It's a KG game. We're going to do starting bid at $8. Oh, come on. You know you love KG. That smooth, sensual oh. jazz collection. I mean, where oh. else are you going to play? It is a, um, let's see, it is a two to five player game. Each game is approximately 30 minutes long. It's recommended for ages 12 and up. It comes with the Kenny P. Mover, the board game, 16 groovy tokens, along with 62 sax cards, 36 event cards, dice, marker, and instruction. Brand new, beautiful condition, keeping it sexy. What do you think? Oh, come on. Could you imagine giving this game to an office worker for the holiday? This is a white elephant game. You know that. Yep, that it is. That is. But you know something? I understand if people are not interested in those type of things, but I saw this. I thought this was funny as anything. <laughs> and I, I literally, I grabbed the entire shelf. I'm like, I want all of them. People thought I was crazy. I'm like, yeah, I want to keep it taxi. So that's going to be my ele white elephant gift to when I give out for Christmas. I you hope I don't draw you on anything. You? No, I actually just picked this up today. So I haven't played it. But I'm just looking at the back because what is this? You get a wooden Kenny G figure. Look at this. You get the whole flute. Well, it's not a flute. It's actually a saxophone. But it's, um, uh, I don't even know what type of saxophone it is. It's, it's not your regular sax it's like a i don't know whoever plays the sax might know <laughs> but 
but I've never played the game. I just thought it's you got to get sexy. Like so how many are we doing each? Two or three? Yes, are we doing two or three? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, three. Three? Okay. Okay, well, you know something? I will put Kenny B. Sexy off to the side. If anybody is interested, I have a couple of these. They make great, funny gifts, but we're going to pass this for now. I thought that would be a good, funny gift for people to, I don't know, um, relax. It breaks the ice. It breaks the ice. It's Kenny G. Get sexy. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is actually for kids. This is going to be... Uh, I'll give it to you, Melanie. Don't okay. worry. Just, okay. just good. what it is. We're going to do ugly dolls, and we're going to start it off at $10. Okay. And what we have, if I can get my, there we go. The first you're going to get is this cute Is that a choice, or do you get all of them? No, you get all of it for $10, starting with $10. So it is. But shipping? Shipping is added to it. You have to pay for shipping. I do combined shipping for the cheapest amount. So, yes, $10 okay. plus shipping. You are going to get a stuffed ugly doll in light blue. It has its tag. Along with this, you're going to get not one, but two ugly doll blind bag boxes. These are, there's a collection of five of them. So, it'll be one of five dolls will be in here, but they have to guess what it is because it's a complete surprise. And in addition to that, you're going to get ugly dolls. These are kid safe, comfy headphones. That's actually a headband. So they put the headband on like that and it plays music because it has the, um, the microphone coming out of the ears. So it's actually like a headband that they put on their head and they can listen to music and it's the kid safe headphones. So you're gonna get the headphones, the two ugly doll characters and the big ugly doll stuffy for $10. Anybody? It is fun, ugly dolls. Yes, ten dollars plus shipping it makes for a nice little early Christmas gift. I know, and it's a complete little thing. And like I said, you're getting two um blind bags, so you have no idea what's in the blind bag. But it's a cute little ugly doll figurine. You'll get the ugly doll kids' seem comfy headphones. It's recommended for ages three to nine. It's uh, 85 uh, decibels, so it's kid safe, um, soft and comfortable headband, and you get the cute little stuffy, brand new with the tags. Tags are still on, nice and clean. All this complete ugly doll lot for ten dollars. And oof, everybody's quiet out there. If you're not interested, oh. just simply right past, and we'll just go over to the next because we have lots of other stuff. If you yep. are. Interested, of course, you could bid. Yes, I, I, bought, I have lots of stuff from the yard sales this past weekend that needs to go. Yes, Harry wants to get rid of his stuff, and Harry always has good stuff. So, well, so, do you, so do you, all of us. We all have some good stuff that's unique to us. I, I got the weird stuff. I'm always bringing out something new and different, so why not? I, oh, I try to see what I'm going to bring out here. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. That's a sexy. Okay, so if nobody's interested in the ugly dolls, as always with any of my stuff, you can always contact me at any time. I offer deals constantly, and um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I we always combine our shipping, so that way you get the lowest shipping cost. Yes, that's exactly what I was saying. Okay, and the next, this is for the drama queens out there. How about that? Oh, me? Are you a drama queen? All the time. And we're going to do this for um, $8. So you can just put Drama Queen $8. And what they are is, it is Dolly Mama by Joey. And it says, the ladies in this collection are purely fake. Any resemblance to anyone I know is not my fault. What they are is, it's Dolly Mama's uh, picture frame. So what you do is you get your small picture of whoever you don't like. And you call them a Drama Queen. You're going to get one, two, three, four, five. You're getting six of them. So you know something? You can give them out as uh, gifts. You can give them out to people you hate at work. You can give them out to um, as a funny gift. All you do is put a little picture of the person you think is a drama queen, give it to them, and say, happy holidays. 
<laughs> but you're getting a total of um what did I say? I said uh, you're getting six of them. So six um frames, we'll say drama queen for eight dollars plus shipping. Yep. And it's a very cute, um, they have a little uh, stand on it that you could open it up and it could stand up or you could simply just hang it as is. It's, um, I want to say it's very hard cardboard uh, and that's not glass, it's plastic. But like I said, it's just, it's a cute little frame for your uh, drama queen in your life. Any interest in the drama queen lot? And if, if there is, we're looking for an eight dollar stock. If not, please type in pass, and we can move it along. And that's okay. We could go right to Donna flipping frozen because maybe she has some exciting things. Go <laughs> so for it, Donna. It's all yours. Okay. okay. We're gonna say it's pass. In. Not me. All right, here I am. Okay, uh, my first lot is a stack of DVDs. There are 10, and I'm going to start these at uh, 15. And this is what I have. Is that plus shipping? Yeah, plus shipping. These are going to go as media. Okay, so we got X-Men knocked up. <laughs> Be cool. Limitless, Hancock. Oh, that was a good one. The moment after. Well, there you go, Born Supremacy. X Men Last Stand. Cheaper by the dozen. Under the Tucson Sun. So there you have it. We got a DVD lot set of 10 DVDs for $15 plus shipping. Any interest in the DVDs? They all have been checked. And oh, that, this one, I don't think it's been played because it's still sealed in, at the top there. So that one's still good. And remember, if there's anything that you guys are looking for, just type it in the chat. One of us will probably have it, and we can bring it out for you guys. Yeah. I got a whole whole bunch of other things here that I've not shown. These are these movies I've not shown any other time. Pulled them out of box. $15 on the DVDs. Any interest in the DVD lot? And believe me, the weirder the item we can bring out for you, the better. There we go. If not, please type in pass and we shall move it along because the quicker we move it along, the more stuff we can show you guys. So there you have it. I want to say, is Bobby serious? No, I want to say Bobby is a troll, so... <laughs> Let's keep it clean, everyone. This is the family family time. <laughs> well, at least it's legal, so that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is a plus. <laughs> hey, fifteen. Mm -hmm. Any interest? Uh, I'm gonna say that's a pass on the DVDs. Okay. Let's see what's next. What do we have next? I have a stack of books. Okay. 
These are, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, wow. books, eight books for uh, $10, $10. And these are paperbacks. Okay, we got Lily B on the brink of cool. I'm not sure the age limit for this book. Um, dog song. I think these are more for um, teenagers. Teenagers, because yeah, then I go into this. <laughs> I get the good stuff. Hello, T. Welcome to the show. This is a masked man. We got a uh, man. Um, I think this is a, a novel, but they're all uh, Harlequin. Oh, so nice romance books. Yeah. Those are the ones they go through and start reading and we'll find it on almost every page. Three, three different stories in this one. Really good stories. I pretty much read all of these. These either are new books. That this one's brand new. This one I've read. This one I've read. This is new. And so we got a book lot starting at $10, $10. and you're in the book lot. And then you get this lovely one, um, kind of Grace's Brown's Love Letters. You're into like a history of, this is actually history of New York State. But I figure I'd throw this in with all the love books as well. It's pretty good, interesting reads. And it's different letters. Um, and there's some pictures in here as well about how she met her boyfriend. And, and then he pretty much drowned her at the lake. <laughs> well, now that you told the whole story, we don't have to read it. <laughs> Any interest in the book lot? Looking for a $10 start on the book lot. If not, please type in pass and we shall move it along. We want to thank you all for coming in and joining us. We are looking for a $10 start on the book lot or a pass, please. Anyone interested? If not, just give us a pass and we shall move it along or else we'll give it a 10 second countdown and we'll move it along on our own. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, we're halfway there. <laughs> Four, three, two, and I'm gonna say that's a pass. Okay. A pass. Okay, let's see what else we got. We have, if I could find the, the string. Oh, here we go. This is a uh, Danbury Mint Christmas ornament. It's a snowflake, and I believe the date is um, 1988. And this is going to go at $10. And I actually sell these a lot higher on eBay. So you're getting the for a ten dollar bid on the Danbury Mint ornament. So this will actually go for uh, first class. Any interest in the Christmas ornament? And they are marked. Um, somewheres. I'm not sure what this one is, but it, it's on one of the sides and it's very hard to, very hard to read. But it is stamped Danbury Mint and the year.
Any interest? If not, please uh, type in pass. Looking for a $10 start on the Christmas ornament from Danbury Mint. Or a pass. They are 23 karat gold. Not just gold plated, they're 23 karat gold. Okay, ten, nine, eight. Oh, here we go. Here's Lisa. All right. Thank looking, you, Lisa. Looking for twelve. Looking for twelve on the ornament. We know there is a lot of lag. There's like a 15 second lag going on. Okay. So we'll count it down slow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We're halfway there, people. 4. Three, two, and we are sold to Lisa's treasures. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, thank you. My turn. Your turn. Go for My it. Turn. And you're big. <laughs> I'm going to say what? Go for it. I am. We have five old Achi Digest books. These are from the 70s. We are looking for a $10 start on the Achi Digest plus shipping. They are in decent condition. No pages are missing. They do have a little worn wear to them, but they are from the 70s. We are looking for a $10 start on the Archie Digest books. Any interest on the Digest books? Lisa's scooping up the great deals at $10. Do we have anybody in for 12? No, looking for 20 now. Thank you, Lisa. As I said, these are, and you got, they are numbers 5, 14, 15, 17, and 18. Hello, Jennifer. Thank you for coming. We are looking for $12 on, on the digest books. These are all from the 70s. If not, we'll start counting it down. And we'll say I don't know. Somebody says you're very beautiful. I hope that's a girl saying that. <laughs> if not, I'm in trouble. Okay, we're gonna go ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, final shot. And we are sold to Lisa's treasures. Oh, that is a sale. Touching. I don't know. We need sound effects. Well, I'll have to steal it from Paul. 
was like, <laughs> Number two, we have the first season of The Simpsons and the second season of The Simpsons. These are all complete. There's just a little bit of wear there. But other than that, they're all fine. All the supplements are in there. We are looking for a $15 start on the Simpsons DVD block. Somebody's making noise. What kind of noise do you hear? Weird ones. Uh-oh. We got the Simpsons. I should put it in the lot. I'm sorry. The Simpsons. You said fifteen dollars. Fifteen. They are complete. Any of the Simpsons. If not, please go into the chat. All righty, we're going to say that's the patch. Item number three. This is a very unique item. Ooh. It was available from Disney on May the 4th. This is a Disney key. May the 4th Disney key? Yep. yep. And how much are we starting that out at? We are looking for a $20 bid. I don't know why I'm getting a feedback. I'm getting some kind of feedback here. May the fourth be with you. Yep, still has the tag. And the key is six inches long. Is it metal or is it made of wood? No, it's like a plastic. Plastic? Yeah. But they only did it for uh, the fourth of for oh, yeah. uh, the celebration for Star Wars. And it does come in a nice envelope. It's just not marked. It's just any interest in the Star Wars piece. We got Lisa in at 20. 20. She knows where the deals are at. Yes, she, she does. does. Looking for 22. I was only able to get two of these. They were very limited and hard to get. Any other in the Star Wars? Yeah, I'm getting some kind of a feedback here. Hmm. Looking for 22. You sound fine, Jerry, so we don't hear any feedback coming I out. I don't know if you hear the feedback. Can you maybe lower the volume on your phone? I don't know. We'll see. 
Looking for 22. If not, we're going to start counting it down. Okay, we're going to go 10. We're going to go 9. We're going to go 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And we are sold. Thank you, Lisa. All righty, that was my three. One, two, three, okay. okay. You're up. I'm up. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a vintage toy lot, and I'm going to start Ooh. at $30. But when you see what's in here, you'll know why I'm starting at $30. So the first thing you're going to get is this beautiful 1987 California Raisin Bank. It is the bank, it has the bottom piece cover. It's from 1987 California Raisins Original Claymation Bank. In addition to the bank, you are going to be getting this 1974 Mego figure. I believe this is Superman, but I'm not too sure, but it is a naked Mego figure. From 1974. So I don't know. You can't see the backing, but it does say Mego on the back. Then, if you like this, this is a 1971 Pillsbury Doughboy little toy. And it says 1971 directly on the back of his head. You're going to get a 1986 blinkable My Little Pony. And the date is on there. It blinks at you. It has the little part on the back and these are all vintage toys this is the money maker out of the deal 1997 purple tamagotchi original working condition you can see it right there he he took a poop and i have to clean up his poop but <laughs> hey I, I didn't he did it i didn't do it but that's a working tamagotchi in addition to this there's more you know what this is? That is a Bluebird Polly Pocket. It is from, doesn't say a date. No date on the Polly Pocket, but Polly Pockets are old. So it's a Polly Pocket Biz Vintage Little Bluebird Collection. And then there's more. How about some vintage marbles? You're getting two of the uh, big slammers or whatever you call them. And then there's a mixture of all different types of marbles, including what appears to be one of the clay marbles. And then I got two more figurines. I've got Gargoyle from 1995, and I've got Dr. Octopus from Superman. No, you from Spider-Man. Spider-Man, I said Superman. I'm sorry, Dr. Octopus, and I even wrote Spider-Man. And he's from 1985. So you are getting all these vintage toys, starting price $30, and like I said, you could run your comps on each and every one of these pieces, and one of them will make you back your money. But you're getting everything. So the Mego figure alone will make you back your money. Exactly. See, Jerry knows his Mego figures. I believe this is Superman, but I'm not too sure. Because I was looking at the head and everything, but he's naked, so I can't tell unless it's close. But I think well, the thing with uh, Mego was that you gave him different outfits. Correct. They were interchangeable outfits. So between the Mego figure, the original Tamagotchi, the 1971 Doughboy, the California Raisins Bank. What does it say? I get used to the middle of... Okay, see, Lisa knows her deals. You're getting all these, the Polly, Polly Pocket little um, trinket treasure thing. And that's from the Bluebird collection. It says Bluebird on the back. All this for $30. And we have Lisa in at 30. Do we have a bid for 32? Or are we gonna call it to Lisa because Lisa is getting an incredible deal on all these vintage toys. It is a great collection, Lisa. You're definitely gonna like these toys. $30, I'll just give it just a moment. It isn't, thank you, Back by Silver, it is a nice lot. It's all vintage toys. Gargoyles, Dr. Octopus, Marbles, um, Pillsbury Doughboy, 
Mego figure, original Tamagotchi, the purple version. They made different versions. The Polly Pocket and the Sun Made Raisins. And I, I forgot that one. The little tiny horsey, My Little Pony from 1986. So we're going to call it to Lisa. Lisa at 30. Lisa is open one. up all the deals. Yes, she is. She knows exactly where to get the good deals. We'll go $30 going twice. Lisa's Treasures, congratulations. You are the winner for this entire lot for $30. Thank you so Yay! much. Yay! All you need to do, Lisa, is please do me a favor. Send me an email to my email. I will invoice at the end of the show with um, any uh, – I can't talk. With combined <laughs> shipping with any other lots if you happen to win. So, uh, toy. Lisa's Treasure is good because she's bought a lot from you. Oh, no. I – I've seen her around. I know she's good. I just probably don't have her email in my lot. If, if not, I can give it to you. I have it as well. Okay, yep. great. The next thing, since tis the season for a uh, holiday, <laughs> what better way to have a Halloween costume than an original Boy Scout uniform? Huh? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Okay, but, but this is an old one. This is a Scoutmaster's uniform, and it is an original. So we are going to start off with the Scoutmaster hat. It has all these beautiful collectible pins on it. And there's like Idaho Potato, I Love New York, Mississippi, Jamboree from 1981. What's the price uh, on it? Oh, uh, the whole thing, we're going to start it at uh, $20. We'll do $20, 1981 Jamboree. Some of these pins alone, they're vintage pins. There's one from Supporting the Sword right there. There's one right here for 1981 Jamboree. You are going to get the hat. In addition to the hat, you are going to get the lovely shirt. Now, some of the patches have been removed from the shirt. The shirt is a size. What size is this? Well, whatever. It is an official. Look at that. Official shirt from the. I'm going to say oh, this is probably a size medium, but it's an adult medium. And it has the patches. Some of the patches were removed from the front, but it is in great condition. If that's not alone, wouldn't you not like your man in shorts <laughs> like that? Look how pretty those shorts are. Could you imagine him going to a party? Are you choking, Donna? <laughs> You're not yeah, supposed to have that at $20. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? These are sexy Boy Scout shorts. And they are original. And look, um, it doesn't say the size. See, look at that. Original Boy Scout uniform shorts. I don't know the size, but uh, waist-wise going across was 20, uh, uh, 20 inches. So that would be 40 inches going around. See, two, two hip chicks knows the deal. We are looking for 22 on the Boy Scout. Why am I getting feedback from... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> hey, I told you it wasn't just me. Now you're getting the feedback. I'm getting the feedback now. And if you look carefully, there's even the Boy Scout logo right on the thing. And if this wasn't all, guess what you also get? You get the official Boy Scout patch vest, vest thingy. Whatever you could. Exactly. It's sexy. In fact, <laughs> you could do this and mix it with the sexy over there, and it could be one complete deal. Look at these patches. Those are huge mm -hmm. patches. You're going to be getting, um, I don't know what the order of the arrow is. Well, look at that. Order of the arrow. There is the Philmont Scout Ranch. These are huge collectible patches. They're all from the 70s. This is 75, 76. Um, 76. These are classic 1978, 77. These are all classic patches. So you get this complete, beautiful Boy Scout Cub Scout leader adult outfit, great for Halloween or great for the collector's value portion. We are at $20 right now from two hip chicks, who definitely knows a great deal when they see one. But could you imagine having a guy wear this? I, I want to see him in these shorts. Look at how sexy those shorts are. Could you imagine? Yes. You know what happens with Boy Scout uniforms. So you'll get all these pieces, the shorts, the vest, the shirt, and the hat, all in one That costume. is a good deal. Those patches <laughs> alone, 
Oh yeah. Worth some money. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yes. And I mean, these aren't the little patches. I know some people are will. Big patches. They're big patches. I know some people will end up cutting them out uh, gently. Dress up all night for a little role playing. Exactly. <laughs> It'd be sexy. That's a new term. Get sexy with Kenny G. <laughs> See? But if nobody else is interested right now, two, chi two hip chicks is in it for $20. And I think we're going to call it going once $20 for the entire outfit with the patches, with the hats. The hat has all the pins on it. And there's some really old pins on here. Classic pins on there with the dress up uniform all together $20. We are gonna go twice, and guess what? Two hip chicks, it is sold to you. Congratulations, $20 for the entire Boy Scout uniform. Yay! Let me write that, two hip chicks. And I got something else, don't I? Okay, last one. This is a collection, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is for $10. It is a collection of coloring books, but each of these coloring books, they are Disney. They have a light up fun LED um, glowing thing that they could glow, but it's all an activity book. So you're gonna get Flash and Go Minnie Mouse. You're gonna get Dumbo with the twisting crayons. You'll get Aladdin with the twisting crayons. We're gonna get Minnie Mouse with the colored pencils. And then Mickey Mouse, oh boy, with the flashing. And it's a complete set, five coloring books, one, two, three, four, five, ten dollars. Did we lose Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> he laughed. That's okay, so I'll put it in the chat. Five coloring books, ten dollars. The thing about these coloring books is I have multiple sets. So this is actually a fixed rate price. You can get as many as you want or as many people get, can get as many as they want. It's a special I'm doing for Disney coloring books. $10. You're getting five of them. Dumbo, Aladdin, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Yeah. One for the kids and they already have... Kids. Mm -hmm. And um, Christmas stockings. And they already have the crayons and markers already. Uh, well, I should say colored pencils and markers. So you don't have to worry about going out and getting crayons for the kids. Or it's also good if you ha end up babysitting people because they end up dumping them off at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? But if anybody is interested, I'll be doing the coloring books for a while. I, I have many in stock. I have different types with or without crayons, with markers, without markers, and they're all Disney themed. So I do a wholesale deal if anybody's interested in coloring books. So that is my three items. I think we're going to Jerry if he's red. I'm, I'm sorry, to you, uh, Donna. Me, me. Yes, you're next. Yeah, you gotta go to the boss, not to me. I know, I know, I know, and she's next. <laughs> I'm out of order. <laughs> okay, I have, hopefully you can see it, Bring the camera down. A whole big lot of sewing stuff. I have. Let's see. I don't know what you What's see the size it. price? Um, eight dollars. I have buttons. Whole bag of buttons here. Um, I have more more buttons as well. Big big buttons. I have some. Um, I guess this is. Uh, Vinyl oval, vintage oval. I'm not sure what this thing is. Some kind of. And then this is. Um, I'm going to say it on here. Velcro. Hook and loop. You can't say Velcro. This is not eBay. <laughs> I know, they'll come after you. Yeah, right. 
This is uh, yeah, no, 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 Alaska, um, Alaska bands here, you know, for 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 um for waste, like making pants or so. I've got two boxes of pins. Let's see what else we got here. There's some more. Um, a last. This is good for um the ear pieces for the mask. If you're making masks, there's a whole whole lot of this stuff. This is stitch witchery. Um, fusible bonding web, whatever that is. I've never worked with it, but it looks like it's some some sort of tape. And then I've got a package of hooking eyes. Whole package of them, brand new in the package, never been moved. And this is plastic rings. This has been open. And a few other, you get a zipper, a white zipper. I don't know how, this is brand new, brand new white zipper. It is, what size is it? 14 inch uh, white zipper polyester. The price on it is 91 cents. So you can figure out how old it is. So I don't know how, how what zippers go for. You get one of these doodads. Like, um, I guess if you're tracing patterns or whatever. So all this for $8. Any interest on the sewing line? For an $8 shot? Any interest? We want to thank you all for coming into the auction. And if there's anything that you're looking for, please type it in the chat. And if one of us has it, we'll bring it out to sell to you guys. Jerry, you're in the tunnel. Yeah, he sounds like he's so far away. <laughs> How about now? Okay, that's much better. better. Whatever you just did, that was perfect. Well, somebody told me to lower the volume. Well, oh, it, wow. well it worked a little bit, and then you said, <laughs> well, I don't know what happened. <laughs> so how about now? That You're worked. perfect. All righty, so we're looking for an $8 start on the sewing lot. Any interest? If not, please type in pass, and we can move it on. We don't hold it against you, so don't worry. A big bag of buttons. I don't know what else is in here. I didn't, I didn't really look. This button here looks like a football. So if you're in, into buttons... And remember, anything that you see on here that did not sell, just uh, contact one of us and we'll get it out to you. Yeah. These are bigger buttons. It's almost like a coat button. And they're black. Some cooking eyes. The price tag of a dollar. Oh, and I can't read it. Dollar eighteen, dollar nineteen, something like that. Yep, a dollar eighteen. Then we then we have some Velcro. Woo! <laughs> I have, I'm bringing my monitor back up. There we go. I've got some cookbooks, some appetizers. Um, I'm going to start this. It's three books. Um, 
ten dollars. Got appetizers. You got cooking light weekend night one dish meals. And these will go by uh, media mail. Because they are super heavy. So that's the well, once you eat the food, it'll be super heavy. <laughs> yeah, and then there's that too. <laughs> That looks good. It's a good thing I had dinner first before doing this. <laughs> I'd be you know, famished. You'd be in the pages. Yep, I would be. And then we have glycemic index cooking made it easy. Good for diabetics. Looking for a $10 start on the cookbook. What? Any interest? I know there's no not type in pass it. We will move it along. And even this stuff looks, you know, appetizing as well too. And that, that was the third cookbook so um even the picture picture in the front there almost looks like a like a tart or something is one dish, one pot. That's 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 new, one pot. Throw everything in. <laughs> that is uh braised beef with onions and carrots. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, it looks good too. This is Bry and um, egg Sprata. Never never heard of that, but I made an amazing crock pot uh, meal yesterday. Problem yeah. was, I forgot to turn on the crock pot. So seven <laughs> hours later, when I went to go check on it, there was wrong, wrong meat in it. <laughs> I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> and I you thought it was all it? It? You couldn't. You couldn't smell it. Wouldn't that be a good key? I, you know, so, or she so was too busy it. playing with her. Kenny G book. My no, Kenny G, you know, Kenny G was purchased today. That was that was a today's purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Any interest in the cookbook lot? If not, please type in pass and we will move it along. See, that's the bad thing. That wasn't the first time I ever done that. I've done that a couple of times where I forget to plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, fully illustrated, easy recipes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super easy. You could almost, you know, if you're a single person, this, this could be just a, a meal by itself. Peanut butter and jelly is a meal by itself. Yeah, that's true. You can also <laughs> learn how to make the seven-layer um, nacho dip in this book, too. <laughs> Ooh. All righty, I'm guessing that's a pass there. Okay. Next I have is the, I don't know what you call this, deer. Danbury Mint. Ornament, ten dollars. Uh, let's see, I just had it. Uh, 
Uh, you're not going to be able to see it. It's right there. Yeah, is there the, is the, the reindeer. Yeah. Well, right under it is is where it says Danbury Mint, 1988. Yep. We got another Dan Merriman ornament for ten dollars. Yeah. Any interest in the ornament? Twenty-three karat gold. Looking for a ten dollar start on the ornament. Any interest? I guess say I sell these for a lot more on eBay. You're getting a good deal. It's like, uh, I don't want to say it's 3D, but I say it's like 4D because there's two each on, on each um, slab. So it looks like there's four... Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Looking for a $10 bid for the Danbury Mint ornament. Any takers? If not, please type in a pass. We got Lisa's treasures in at 10. Thank you, Lisa. All right, thank Look you, Lisa. Pearl. Lisa's looking to pair this up with the other one she just got. Yeah. So we're looking for 12 on the ornament. Anyone else in? If not, we'll start counting it down. And Lisa will get another buy again. All right, we'll start counting it down. I know we got about an 18 second lag. There's been a lot of lag going on at all the auctions this week. So we're going to count it down. We're going to go 10, 9. Do I see 8? No, I only see 4 there. 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, final warning, and we are sold to Lisa's Treasures. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Congratulations. Let's see. You're up. Is it my turn? It, it is, is your turn, turn. Mary. Poopity do. We are going to turn back the clocks to 1974. You're going to get a set of five Welch's Jam jars. We have Foghorn Leghorn with the lid. We have Sylvester and Tweety with the lid. We have Wild E. Coyote, no lid. but And these are all glass. I'm looking for a $20 start. And then we have Bugs Bunny. And we're throwing in this other old style that came in with the lot when I picked it up. So you have five different jelly jars for a $20 stock from 1974. And three of them have the lids. Do And they're all made out of glass. All in great shape. Do we have any interest in the jelly jars? <laughs> With Bugs and Sylvester and Tweety and Foghorn and Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. And the lids do pop off. Just take it off and that's it. All nice and clean. No leftover jelly. 
So we are looking for a twenty dollar start on the jelly jars. Any interest? You know how hard it is to juggle these. <laughs> You're an expert with it, Jerry. You're very delicate. I am not delicate. I'm bruised and battered. <laughs> I said the jars are delicate. <laughs> Any interest on the jelly jars? You can usually find them, but usually they're like the Wiley one. You don't have the, the lids for them. And even the lid says 1974, so it's not that they took a new lid and put it on there. It's the actual ones from the 70s. Here we go. Yeah. Any interest in the jelly jars? Yeah, that's why they like having me on the show, because you never know what I'm going to pull out of a box somewhere. <laughs> All about the fun stuff. That's it. Mm-hmm. If not, just type in pass and we can move it along. I miss my long hair. <laughs> All righty, I'm going to say that's a pass. See how the chat is quiet tonight. Oops, get over there. Down there. Okay. Now, because I am different, we are going to do a bunny lock. You have this little cute little bunny with a, wheel, with a wagon with a rooster. And we are looking for $10 on the bunny lock. And then you have this little bunny dish. And this says it's from Chantel. Freezer, microwave, oven, and dishwasher safe. Perfect for Easter. Or for anybody that likes bunnies. And then we have this carrot dish. And then we have this little bunny. And there we go. Looks like he's ready to take off in a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Any interest in the bunny lot? Nice little uh, ceramic set. Yeah. If you have a um, flea market boot, you can put them out in it. Any interest in the bunny lot? <laughs> I don't know who Sanford is. I'm just looking for a ten dollar starting bid on the bunny lot plus shipping. And this one's nice, got all the colors and everything. Looks like it could be like a little cream pitcher or something. If not, then we shall pass on the bunny lock. Any interest? Looking for a $10 stock. Ah, okay. Oh, we're going to say that's a pass, and we're going to let the bunnies hop away. <laughs> All righty. Now we're going to do a puzzle. And not only is it a Disney puzzle, but it's a puzzle within a puzzle because, as you can see, all the pictures on each puzzle piece have pictures. Oh, that's oh, cool. No. 
Wow. It wow. It turned up a bit, but we are looking for a five dollar start on the Disney puzzle. Any wow. interest on the Disney puzzle? Thousand pieces too. That's actually really cool. It have old little designs on it. Yeah. You know, each each puzzle piece has a different character on it. But when it's all put together, it's Mickey Mouse. I know you know where I got that. <laughs> <laughs> but the wife said I have too many puzzles now, and I got to thin it all out. <laughs> Is that the unspoken rule you can't sell somebody else's item? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the only thing I'm not allowed to she can't tell me to sell yet is my Godzilla stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everything else can go. <laughs> That's the last thing that'll go. Any interest on the Disney piece, on the Disney puzzle? If not, type in pass and we can move along to the next contestant. <laughs> next contestant on the person's ride. Come on down. Oh, there's Matt. Hello, Matt. Welcome to the show. Hello, Matt. Matt. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. All righty, we got a pass. Hey. It's up to me. Okay. So this is an interesting item. I have a collection. What is this? You've been looking for me everywhere, Matt. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> Why are you looking for me, Matt? He's what looking just for you. you that you possibly want. Let Every, me get the shirt off my back. <laughs> Everything. That's what it is. I have a collection of blockbuster video cards. These were the cards that when you went to the movie, they had them on the wall. And when they were out of it, it would just show like the empty, it's always like spot holders. But these make terrific artwork. So there's 32 blockbuster video cards in excellent condition. And it's different ones. Piano Teacher, Abduction, Eclipse. How much are we We're gonna start this off at $8. The Devil Inside. Dexter, they're beautiful artwork on all the different uh, movies. They're like little mini posters, Sopranos, Goats, that's a funny movie, Good, Legends of the Fall, Wild Things, Ooh. Gran Torino, Eclipse, and they're all different movies. So for those who like just movie artwork or something different, it's a smaller version of the movie, uh, movie, movie posters. posters, yeah, exactly. The yep. movie posters, but they were actually the placeholders for the blockbusters videos. Memoirs of a Geisha, Sopranos, Breaking Dawn, Dark Knight. There's a couple of uh, doubles here: Hunger Games, Paris Jasheim, Dexter, True Blood, The Traveler, Men of Honor, Usual Suspects, Vampire Hunter, Active Allure. Breaking Dawn, and Sopranos. So you'll get all 32 cards. And like I said, they're great as a movie poster. You could frame them. You could put them up on walls. They're different movies. If you have a favorite actor. Hello, Matt. He's saying hello to everyone. Thank you. We appreciate it. And if there's no interest in the cards, you could simply say pass. Like I said, you're getting the entire 32 card lot. There, there's nothing on the one side. It's just the other side has each of the movies. And it looks like we have a pass from Susan. That's okay with all my items. If anybody is interested, just simply um. Is that the only set you got? This is the only set I got. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were looking for all of the kinds of set, but yes, that's the only one I have. I know you like movies, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> the next one I'm doing, this is a Mikasa 7-inch candy dish serving tray. It is in excellent condition. I did wrap it up on the inside. Brand, um, no chips, no cracks. There's the price on this we're going to do is $5. It is the collection from the right there, the Spring Court Sweet Dish, seven inches, Makasa, beautiful condition, great for serving candy, fruit, uh, desserts, whatever, like a little. I'm losing you, Jerry. You sound like you're in a tunnel again, so I have no idea what you're saying. So we're doing, nope. we're doing $5 starting bid for the Makasa. It will come in the original Mikasa, Mikasa Sukasa? No. The original candy dish, Mikasa. Hello, Swamp Picker. Welcome to the show. It's a crazy night of fun stuff. So if anybody is interested in the Mikasa candy dish, seven inches, put fruit, put cheese, put candy, nice little box. These make great little holiday gifts or, um, yeah, holiday gifts, whatever. Put it on your um, holiday table. <laughs> oh, Jerry, if you only heard what you sound like. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. He's he's a, he's a, uh, no, no. Like that's what you sound like. We're sorry, Jerry. You know, you'll you'll get it when the next time we come around. But if there's no interest in the candy dish, I can simply switch to the next item, and we can get this auction going. This way, we get to show a lot of fun items. <laughs> It's time for the keep the girls amused. <laughs> you gotta keep the girls amused. Hey, you know something? I, I could bring out Kenny G again, and we could do some smooth <laughs> jazz and have a little fun with that. Do I sound um, better now or still uh, You're still no. at <laughs> Yeah, you're still at a distance. But, um, yes, this is a Mikasa candy dish. I'll put that aside for the next... Um, if anybody is interested, um, what else am I selling? I've got, oh, actually, I'll do this. I'm going to do a combined, why not? I have this and I have this. We were talking about a little bit of love. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I showed this earlier and people had a laugh, I'm going to show it again. It is bootyful patches. These are paper masks for your booty. So they're heart-shaped little detoxifying acne booty mask. Like, you know how you have your face mask for the spa quality? Now you have one for your butt cheeks. There's two hearts in here, one for each butt. Are you laughing at me, Flippin? <laughs> and it's even in the shape, look at that. The, it's in the shape of a cute little buttock too. So you're gonna get three patches. Well, three, and each one has two patches. So it's a total of six patches. In addition to that, and the bid for this we're gonna do is $12. Oh, and I'm adding in the relaxing body oil. This is massage oil. This is from the Walita company. It's a very, very good company. This does not expire until June 30th, 2021. So it's good for over, it's good for a year until next year. So you'll get the relaxing body oil and you'll get the three patches. And we'll do starting bid $12 for all of it. And that is a great price particularly if you like the Lolita brand. Very good quality massage. And then you get the Yes too. These are vegan detoxifying acne patches for your booty. It's supposed to help your booty relax for 10 minutes with a removable mask. Can you have, of course you can have your partner. You're, look at them, they're heart shape. It even says bear me on it. So see, it's a little thing bear me. So you put one on each cheek, and then you massage the oil on their body. It's a fun time for you and your partner. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I'm trying to keep a straight face, and you're laughing at me. What did 
she oh, doing? Better than laughing at me. What is she doing back there? But if nobody is interested, like I said, Walita is a very good company. Say hi. <laughs> if nobody is interested in the massage oil or booty patches, we could simply pass it to Donna. <laughs> well, that was your third one? <laughs> yeah, the blockbuster cards, the candy dish, and now the Walita. Okay. That was my third one. See, I'm quick on this. I'm still laughing over the booty patches. <laughs> booty patches. And it says, look at that. It says, bear me. They are heart-shaped patches. You stick it on your booty. And it makes you booty fall. <laughs> That's what it is. It's from the oh. Yes to Company. They're okay. vegan. They're healthy. They're good for you. Well, I'm going to start off with two books. Cookbooks. <laughs> um, $8. And this is how to cook Japanese. This is a step-by-step -step on how to cook Japanese food. So this would be something, you know, if you're stuck at home or, you know, you got the kids and they got to learn um, home ec or if they, if they even teach home ec these days, you know, how to cook different foods you can do. Um, Japanese step by step, eight dollars for two books. I've got this one, and I have party cakes. This is a big hardcover type book. Um, this has all the different um, things you can make here. Is, is you know, the toppings for cupcakes, um, different candies. You know, if you're, if you have a bakery or something, you're looking for something different or, um, hopefully next year when we all go back to normal, we can have, uh, parties. So you'd be all set with your friends and say, hey, this is where I learned while we were in lockdown. That's a cake. It's not a present, it's a cake. <laughs> so you learn how to make all this stuff. So $8 gets you two, two books, ship media. Um, that is a cherry and almond, some kind of pastry. Looks pretty good. This is ex espresso bites. That is a chocolate cheesecake. Ooh. This is black. Current cheesecake. I'm trying to read upside down. It's kind of hard. Chocolate orange something. Roll away. Looks like it's just you know rolled up. Vanilla. Oh, I can't read that. Pavola with chocolate and and uh, maroon. And I believe these are some cookies. Nantucket and ginger cookies. And you're making a, uh, they show you how to make a pastry bag. And how to stack tiers for, for cakes. So that's the two books. You get the party party cakes and you get the Japanese Japanese book here. So any interest? Eight dollar bid. Get you these two lovely books. I don't have the chat up here. 
There we go. So if there's no interest, type pass. And we'll move on. Sure can. Um, my next one is Friday. You'll be on with me and, and uh, Melanie. <laughs> well, some some fun. I do I do either either Tuesdays or uh, Friday. So let me know what day you want to come in on. So I'm going to do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> yeah, we'll get crazy, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it gets crazy at night. <laughs> yeah. So my next, my next lot is a bucket full of ribbon. There's ribbon and there's uh there's these things here. Um uh, sure what, what you call these. Rig rat uh um bias tape, more lacy ribbon. This thing is just packed full of starting bid? bid? Starting bid ten dollars for the whole thing. You get this big red thing of ribbon. It'd be great for Christmas. Um, you get a whole bunch of um, small, small ones. Most of these look brand new. These are most of these are still sealed. You get more ribbon here. And hopefully yes. I don't sound funny, but hopefully we get a starting bid of ten dollars. This is a uh, French blue. This is brand new. It's still sealed. More lace. So if you're into crafting, twenty-five yards of yet of lace. You get more of this. Bias trim, new in package. And this is new as well. It's vintage. And no price on it. Um, you get you get this. It's called Bruschella Spotlight. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't even looked to see what was in here. More seam binding, 39 cents. Tell you, you, you pay big bucks in the store for this stuff. There's more brand new bias tape, brick rack. Uh, this is, what is this? Some kind of uh, green. It looks like hollies. Be great for Christmas. Seven feet. Get that. Get all this. We got um two two brand new rolls. I guess one is used. One new, one used pink. Whoops. Those look like the things that when you're on a boat and it's pulling away, you throw them off at the dock. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Any takers? Looking for a $10 start on the ribbon lot. Get the whole bucket. I may just send you the whole bucket as well. <laughs> what a bargain. You get the bucket with the ribbons. That's right. I got all this at an estate sale. They were like, here, take. 
There you go. Any interest in the ribbon lot? If not, yeah. please type in pass. The big red make Christmas bows. You know there's at least a 15 second lag going on. You get this whole big bucket full of ribbon. It's like a jewelry jar, but ribbon. <laughs> Any interest? If not, please type in pass. Hey, Penny, welcome to the show. Hi, Penny. Looking for a $10 start on the ribbon lot. Any interest? If not, please type in pass and we will move it along. Well, I will still have it if anyone's still interested. They think about it, or if you know somebody who might want it, let me know. Next up, I have is a, um, I guess it's an angel and a little wagon. It says Noel. This is another. Uh, Danbury mint ornament, ten dollars, and it's nineteen eighty-eight. And I believe it is on the bottom this time. Let's see. Yep. Can you see it? Yep. It's a little on the dark side. There it is. So was, yeah. So was Darth Vader, but that didn't make him a bad person. Oh, okay. <laughs> So there it is, little wagon. It's very cute because it still has the, uh, you know, the pull thing, you know, if you're pulling the wagon. This is a Christmas ornament, Danbury Mint. It's got wheels, it's got Noel. Any interest in the Christmas ornament? Twenty three karat gold. Looking for a ten dollar stock on the ornament, if not, looking for a pass. Where's Lisa Treasures? She leave? <laughs> Any interest? There she is. There's Lisa Treasures in the pen. I thought so. Okay. Anyone um, for 12? Looking for 12. That's it. 
is that noise? I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> Sounds like a bug, a, a bug catcher. What? Yeah, a bug catcher. A bug, a bug catcher? zapper. A bug zapper. Yeah, we're hearing some kind of buzzing noise. I don't know what you hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why, is that you making that noise, Mel? I, do I have like a secret buzzing thing happening? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every now and then there's a motorcycle that's going by with the room room, but. Oh. No. Well, it's not that, but it's something that's, there's some kind of wire that's crossed somewhere. All righty, I guess we can start counting it down. Yeah. We're going to say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Watch yourself there, Carol. This is an adult show. But it doesn't mean to talk that way. Three. Two, <laughs> and we are sold to Lisa's treasures. Am, am I supposed to get out the buzzing toys? Is that what it is? I don't know. Look what Carol just said in the chat about you. <laughs> ay, you ay, ay. What kind of people am I dealing with here? See, there's, there's that buzzing there's noise. There's that noise again. See? Or is it you? It's not me. I have nothing that's buzzing here. <laughs> I just have a puzzle, see? Oh, okay. It's, a puzzle doesn't <laughs> make buzzing noises. <laughs> All right, we have a puzzle, as you can see. These, this is from the 50s. We are looking for $20 on the puzzle. It is complete. There's nothing on the back. This is just the way I got it. There is no box, but it is rather old. Yes, Carol, I told you that's old news. Thank you. But we are looking for 20 on the vintage puzzle. Yes, Carol, I shaved just for you. I never go to a wedding, just a funeral. Any interest on the vintage puzzle? There is something Ooh. making noises here. It's bug zapper. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I know it's not on my end. I'll put it on mute. It might be me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Any interest in the puzzle? If not, type pass in the chat and we shall move on to the next item. It must have been Mel because now everything's quiet. No offense to you, Mel. That's all right. I'm testing, I'm testing out the next item. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what it is then. Any interest? If not, type in pass and we can move it along. If there's anything anybody wants to see, just type it in the pass and we'll pull it out for you guys. Any interest? If not, type pass and we can move along. Yes, Matt, what would you like? As if I couldn't hazard a guess. We're going to say that's a pass on the puzzle. All righty, we're going to do a DVD lot of the show Lost. You have season one, season two, 
And season three, which is still sealed, we are looking for a $20 bid on the lost episodes. They are all complete. And all ready to go. Any interest in the DVDs? All complete. All with all the little discs and paperwork and everything. All the discs are nice and clean. There are no problems to them. Any interest in the first three seasons to loss? Twenty bucks is a nice price because usually the sets went for thirty and up. So you're gonna get a great set at a great price. Any interest? If not, type in pass. Seasons one, two, and three. <laughs> nice try, Matt. Yeah, usually the endings to these usually end rather poorly. It's like they rush because they didn't know what to do, and so they just end it, and it ends up stinking. But we're going to say that's a pass on the lost set. So I guess they're going to still be lost. One, two. Three, four, and five. All righty, we are going to do a set of shirts. Yes, Matt, you heard me. Shirts. Starting price on them is going to be thirty dollars. We have Batman. Whoops. Wayne Enterprises. Got them sitting on the sleeve. It is a size large. Then we have a Ronda Rousey shirt from the WWE. And that is an extra large. Then we are going to do Spider-Man. And that is a 2X. And then we got a Gundam 2X long sleeve with the Gundam tag on the sides. And last but not least, we have a different Ronda Rousey. And this is a 2X as well. So you got one, two, three, yep, four, and five. All classic shirts, $30 plus shipping. Any interest on the shirts? You got 30 from Matt. I knew that was coming. <laughs> you have anybody for 32. And you people do know how I work when it comes to the shirts. When the bids start going up, the pile gets bigger. Ooh. 
So if you want to start doing some better stuff, stop bidding away. And thirty dollars is a great deal on those shirts. Yes, it is. Just for the hot rod under one, that alone from WWE is thirty dollars. So everything else would be profit. <laughs> that's that's bidding up himself to thirty five. <laughs> Man, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> you have to have somebody else. Look at he's already putting in 50. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, Matt. Somebody else has to bid against you. <laughs> it's going up to 75. He wants to add more shirts. <laughs> Matt, it's not going to work that way, Matt. Somebody else needs to be bidding against you. Why don't we call in Guapo and have him come in? Then we can see an auction. <laughs> All right, we got Matt at 30. We are looking for 32. Any other interest on the shirts? If not, we're going to start calling it to Matt. Matt, you're still getting a great deal on those shirts, and you know it. Yes, he knows it, but he just wants all of the other stuff. He absolutely knows it. Any other interest? Uh, we got Pick with Joy at 32. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're looking for 34. You have, once again, you got the Hot Rod, the shirt. You have the Batman with Wayne Enterprises. Oops, wrong one. That one. Wayne Enterprises. Then you have the Spider Man one, front and, and back. Right, and right now we have Pick with Joy at 32. Okay, yep. Matt's in at 35. Now there Matt's we go. At 35. Here we go. Now we got Gundam. And let me see. Oh. And then we got Pick with Joyce going at 37. Now we got a challenge going. Matt, now we got a challenge going. Are you going to 40, Matt? We got Pick with Joy at 37. We pass 40. I will throw in another shirt. Invest. I have a match shirt. <laughs> oh, that Gundam one is really good. Matt they is at 40. 40 right now, so it looks like another shirt. We passed 40. We throw in another shirt. Oh, we got to pass 40. For 42, yep. We're looking at 42. For a bit of 42, we're going for another shirt. Pick with and Joy. This one you will be a vintage one. Pick Pick joy like joy is at 42. They want to see what that shirt is. So what's the next shirt? It is Madonna Tour shirt 2008. Madonna Tour. Sticky and Sweet Tour. There we go. There's another shirt to the pile. Oh, and it's nice That's pink tie-dye. And we're at 42 with Pick With Joy. He wants the mask and lawnmower man. Oh, wow. Sticky and sweet tour. Look at that. Yep. Oh, look at that. We are at 50. 45. Pick With Joy is at 50. They know their shirts. They know exactly what they're getting with this. Um, they also know that when it comes to me with my shirts, all mm -hmm. the awful stuff we get. Woo. Some Looks nice like one at a great price. Looks like you got to throw in another shirt. <laughs> or we got to go to 52 for another shirt. Nope. We got to hit 60 for another shirt. Oh, okay. We're at 55. 55. You'll get another shirt at 60.
Liquid Joe, you want to chance it? Or are we giving it to Matt for $55? And how many shirts are we at so far? Hold on one second. We are at one, two, three, four, five, and six so far. Six. We six. got three more to fifty bucks the garage though. All right, sixty. We are at sixty Ooh. right now with pick with your right. and Ariana Grande torture. All those that remember her from uh Sam and Cat. And I believe uh Kali, I Kali was also she was on there. We are at yeah. sixty. Seventy-five. We get another shirt. <laughs> We're at sixty-five. Oh, Matt wants that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, Matt wants me to give him everything I got in the garage so far. The shirts. <laughs> We're at sixty-five, and we got two more shirts. We're gonna put in the pile, and that's it. Any other interest on the shirts? We got picked with joy. Seven day. What did you say? Seventy-five dollars. You get another shirt. Okay, we are throwing in a Cookie Monster. This is an old style one, almost. So you got Cookie Monster there. We have one more shirt that can come into the pile if it goes up any higher. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. It's so flat with Cookie Monster. <laughs> funky, funky. All righty, we're going to start counting it down. Oh, and right now, Pick with Joy is the winner. So far. <laughs> Counting it down. Ten. Oh, oh, okay. That's it. Well, it's you're coming in. Ian Hunter Tour 2017. There we go. That's the shirts in this lot. That's it. Yep. So you've got the Ian Hunter, Cookie Monster. That's two, three, Ariana Grande, four, four. Thunder <laughs> Algae, that's five, Gundam is six, Spider-Man is seven, Batman is eight, the different Ronda Rousey is nine. And the tenth one is Madonna. Woohoo. Ten shirts. And we are Ten at shirts. $75 to No, Matt. we're not taking them off, Matt. This is it. This is what we got. That's it. Do we have any more past 75? Is a great reseller's lot or just to add to your collection? Yeah, no, let us know if you're out or not. If not, we'll just start counting it down. We're going to say 10. We're going to say 9. 
Yep. We know there is a long delay. Eight. Do I hear seven? I guess we're going to six. Okay, she's off the mat. We're going to say five, four, three, two, and we are sold to Matt. Sold. Congratulations. That's a big That's one. That's a happy boy. He Way to go. Go. <laughs> oh. All right. Next person. Are we doing one more round or we're calling it here or what are we doing? No, we're going to do one more round. We will do one more round. So yeah. one has to bring out the naughty stuff. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clean minds, everyone. This is important. Okay. That leaves me out then. I am selling vintage massagers. Okay. <laughs> Clean minds. <laughs> Check the comps on these because these are really good. The first one is a Polonix Sweet It Two Swedish style massager. It's a noisy one. <laughs> But it is amazing. That's where our noise was coming from. <laughs> no, I just, I just brought this in. That was not the thing. Yeah, it true. Sounds like you're turning, you're turning red. <laughs> so, very good massage. <laughs> um, I'm selling two of them. So, um, this is the first one. Twenty dollars for both, but definitely check the comps and you'll see what I'm talking about. So that is the Sveta Polonix Sveta Two Swedish massager. Vintage. The other one, and this one's in practically perfect condition, very clean. This is the Hot Vibe Double Duck. Okay? It is a heater one. In addition, you, this one you can't even barely hear. It's vibrating right now. It does heat on this one, but it has attachments as well. So you can attach a rough one. You can attach... A soft one and look they're never been used it's clean you can attach a knob or you can attach like a spiral effect to here or you could just use the plain disc it has three settings it has with heat without heat on and off i'm doing both of these collections for twenty dollars check the comps particularly on this one and this one and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about these are vintage Vibes. Um, I'm sorry, massage. Vibes. <laughs> Vintage massagers. They're not vibes. They are vibrating massagers. Okay. And they are um, great medical devices. Um, they're, they're both plug in. So there's plugs attached. I have them both plugged in. And like I said, this one's noisy. He's noisy. This one's silent. Uh oh, somebody's coming in the background looking at. The <laughs> so if anybody is interested, did we lose everybody? <laughs> I've yet to find oh okay. <laughs> I think I scared away the kids. Is that what it is? They are out there, I seen them. Okay, Matt's talking to Jerry, that's fine. But is anybody interested in the hot vibe double duck? Or the speed of two massager. Yeah, exactly, Carol. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Medicinal purposes. This one is wonderful because it does heat up as well. So it gives um, a heating effect and a massaging effect at the same time. Great. Yes, that can go great for her little white bag. You know, she could have the whole on on Exactly. You know? And then we won't hear from Carol for like a month. <laughs> Exactly, and it's all good. And it comes in a nice little collection here. 14 here. What do you mean 14 here? I think she's probably asking if you'll take 14. Is that no, what you were asking? 14 people in the chat in the in oh. watching. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a little confused like 14 here. Okay, see, I was trying to keep it clean, but anybody is interested, we have the double duck, or we have the Svita Swedish massager. My <laughs> okay, Carol. 
I don't even know what I'm selling. How about this? We'll go to this. Since nobody's interested in my uh, massagers, we'll go to PlayStation 2 games. If I have a collection of five games, we'll do starting bid $20 on the games. So you're going to get Superman Returns. And this one does not have the uh, instructions, but it does have the disc. We have PlayStation Underground Jam Pack. That one's missing the, the thing as well. And Hulk, the um, the Incredible Hulk, is also missing. However, the other two do have the directions. We have the Genesis Collection, Sega Genesis Collection, which is a collection of 28 classical games. And then we have Naruto Ultimate, uh, I'm sorry, Uzumaki Chronicles Part 2, complete set. So these so are all... There is Naruto. Yes, uh, Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> You're going to get all five of them, $20. They're in great condition, workable condition. They're for PlayStation 2. The one game alone is a 28 mega collection of different games. So there's 28 games in this. And then the rest are the games as shown. And of course, they go media mail, so shipping is really cheap on um, games. Yeah, it's like four or five bucks. Exactly. Rated teen for the Superman. Uh, rated M for the jam packed ones. Rated teen for Incredible Hulk. Teen for Naruto and Teen for the other one. So with the jam pack, which is uh, a mixture of games as well. I didn't realize it was a whole bunch of mixtures. They go all the way from um, RP to Mature. I don't know what RP stands for. Role play. Oh, rating, rating pending. That's what it is. Oh. Rating pending to Mature. So it's a mixture of games. And if we have no interest in the video games, I could just go off to the next uh, item up for bid, up for auction. We love video games. For your PlayStation 2. Yep. Five games, 20 hours. Okay, I think nobody's liking the games. And what is my last item going to be? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing balloons. How about balloons? <laughs> Do you like balloons? <laughs> I am doing a one, two, three, four. It is a five pack of balloons, but it is. Oh wait, we got Pickwick oh, Joy. Joy is in for twenty. Hold on, Pickwick Joy, twenty dollars for the five video game lot. Is there anybody else for the video game lot? Anybody for twenty two? If not, we will go to Pickwick Joy for the five video game lot. Video games are not okay. I can't do video mail. I guess I got to do regular mail for these. Yeah, you do. No. Yeah. No, because okay. they they have advertisements in with them. Oh, I thought if they didn't have advertisements. Yes. Oh, no, because right. there's a lot of paperwork inside. That's why some people get rid of them. So now they can send them as. Yeah, if some of them know, have have the paperwork, it's then it's okay. Bigger. Yeah. That is good to know. Thank you for informing me about that. Okay, so these won't be media mail, then they will be regular mail, but um, which they're going to be light anyway, it's not heavy. Yeah, that'll um, probably be 12, 14. Oh, it won't, even, no, it won't even be that high. Uh, it'll be, like, it'll it'll be it'll like about eight, nine bucks. Like six, seven dollars for this. Yeah, true pirate ship. Yeah. 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 All right, so we're going to call it to pick with joy. Anybody else uh, for five video games? Nope, I'll say we're sold to pick with joy. Sold with pick with joy. We're doing the video game on. Congratulations. Just do me a favor and pick with joy. Please send me an email um, and I will send you an invoice for the video games. Thank you so much for the purchase. And the last and final item we're doing is balloons. How about that? Um, what? Like, no, no. Uh, sexy whatever. <laughs> these, are no. sexy. these are legitimate balloons. <laughs> Five How much is the balloon lot? Just listen to How much is the balloon lot, Mel? Eight dollars. Okay? okay. You're getting five packs of ice cream cone balloons. Yes. It's a balloon oh, thank you, Brutus. So you're getting 20 balloons in different colors. I mean, look at how cute that is. 
you inflate the balloon, you attach it to the uh, ice cream cone, you put sprinkles on it, and it's a complete balloon lock. You're getting five packs of these. It's a total of, um, what did I say? There's uh, four balloons in each. So you're getting 20 balloons. <laughs> yes, they're sexy. <laughs> 20 balloons. They're all pretty colors. And it's a complete balloon kit for the kids, for the next party you have. You can have ice cream cones. <laughs> Why does everybody have a dirty mind? I'm keeping it clean. <laughs> But yes, it's an ice cream cone balloon kit where you could turn your balloons into ice cream cones. And the good things about these is it doesn't have to be a helium inflated balloon because once you start attaching the ice cream cone, you could stick it to weather, wherever and decorate ice cream wherever. cone. Yes. You don't need to inflate the balloons with helium. You just have to blow them up. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> You just have to make them, okay? <laughs> oh, you have dirty minds. I'm keeping this clean. They are balloons. They are running. I can't balloons. open. My mind is in the gutter with my body. Yes, but you know something? I'm the one that's selling me, so just think about that one. <laughs> well, I but, just want to get that with the Boy Scout uniform, and I'll be set. Oh, let me tell you something. Two hip chicks, they're going to have... Sexy with the little boy shorts and the little uniform. <laughs> they know exactly what they got over there. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to say, we all float down here. And we, all, <laughs> balloons. we all float. <laughs> I think Pick with Joy is obsessed with sexy. Here. Yeah. Let me just, uh, are we showing that again? Here. Right here. There you go. Yeah. Kenny G, keep it sexy. That's all I have to say. You got the balloons and you got to keep it sexy. That's the the motto for tonight. Keep it sexy. Okay. Okay. Hey, right. Next, Donna, it's all <laughs> yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've got some games. <laughs> all right, not games. It's a, a Star Trek figure, action figure. And this one is um, one I can't, I can't pronounce the name, so it's G U I N A N. Guinan. What is it? Guinan. Guinan. That's Guinan. Whoopi Goldberg. It's what? Whoopi Goldberg. Guinan. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> so this is a '94 vintage um, action figure. You get. All the um, all the series over here, and this is full deals all on. Um, this is going um eight dollars. <laughs> like I said, it's nineteen ninety four. It says that right, 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 really, right at the very bottom. I like right, right in here, somewhere in there. So eight dollars will get you one of these. We have Star any Trek. interest on the Guinan figure from Star Trek? Get the shield. Get all the ex accessories that uh, Gaiden uses on the show. There's no interest. I pass. What is that noise? No idea. It's a what do you hear? I think it is. I have no idea what you hear. Seems like only Donna and I can hear it. It sounds 
looks like a bug zapper. That's weird. All right, I'll I'll mute myself if you hear it. You see now I don't hear it. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> Any interest? If not, type in pass and we can move on. <laughs> okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay. <clears throat> Next, I have our um, about two pounds of this. Um, they're not the, the real the Lego Legos. I think these are mega blocks or so. Um, they're all shapes and sizes. Um, there might be some people. Um, dollars. How much? Might some people tucked inside. Huh? I didn't eight hear what dollars. you said. You broke up. Eight dollars. Oh. Then you get the two bags. Lots of colors. These are the smaller ones, and these are slightly bigger. This one here almost looks like a canoe. So you got different shapes. You got animals in this one. This looks like a, a mountain. They're all, they all connect. And you get the two bags. So any, anyone interested? Looking not, for any interest on the block set. Countdowns ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Save them. <clears throat> and the last one I have. Okay, Lisa. This is a choo choo. Danbury mint. Um, ornament, Christmas ornament, and it's the uh, um, train engine. Ten dollar start. They are twenty three karat gold. And it does say um, Danbury Mint. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see. You got it up. So you have to tip it upside down to read it. <coughs> That's where it is. It's underneath. And you get the train. The little choo choo. Any interest in uh, ornament from Danbury Mint?
Anyone still out there? Yep. We got 10 people left, but I think we're just about at the end. I think so, too. I think there were some other auctions that were starting up at 830. Well, I think uh, Storage Legends started their auction at 9 o'clock. So. Yeah. So I should say that's probably about it for tonight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do some more? No, no, no. We'll call it here. Okay. Well, hey, thanks for coming, everyone. And yep. My we did have two hours. That's true. We did really good. And um, next auction is Friday at 7 p.m. with uh, mm -hmm. Melanie Light Beam. And whoever else wants to come on, let me know. And um, I'll send you the link. So and I'm on tomorrow with Paul at 4 o'clock till 5. And then from there, I go to Cajun Root Cellar. And oh, I'll wow. be on with them for two hours. Okay. And then Thursday, I'm on with the Stooges, Funky Fluffy, and Lenny. And I'll be on, um, well, yes, we're still yes. doing the swap yep. meet tomorrow. That's what you're talking about? Okay, yes. I'll be on the swap meet with Paul as well. And then on you Thursday, I'll Friday. be with uh, them flipping critters, the two ladies. No, oh, Thursday, okay. I'm on an auction as well. With them flipping critters, um, which is the two ladies auction. And then yes, I'm gonna be on with flipping frozen on Friday. So yes, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're all busy, busy, busy. <laughs> busy. Lots of yeah. auctions. I want to say thank you all for coming in. And putting yes, up thank you for you. It's been a pleasure. We like we said, we're keeping it sexy. And we got that buzzing coming back again. Nobody likes the buzzing. I'm not, it's not this. This is all. It's, it's not, not that. that. It's something, no, it's something, something else, else making a buzzing noise. I don't know what it is. Neither do when we. When you go on mute, we don't hear it. I'm wondering if it's the, the road that you're hearing. or Is it a constant buzzing? No, it like comes and goes. It's like she said, it's like a bug zap. It's like it's just going zzz, and then zzz. I'm wondering if it's the traffic because every now and then a car will pass and you might hear the traffic passing. Right now, there's nothing, no, correct? No, no, it's it. no buzzing. Well, there's no cars right now. So I think when the light changes and all the cars go, then you start hearing buzzing. Oh, no. okay. Who knows? <laughs> it's just a weird night. <laughs> Sensitive mind. I'm sorry, everyone. Sounds like short in something. Yeah. Thank, good you. thank you, everyone, for the auction. Of course, Donna, thank you for inviting me. Terry, it's always a pleasure to do auctions with you as well. Oh, it's Thank fun always doing it with you girls as well. You make it fun. <laughs> yeah, and we will try my make best. it fun. <laughs> um, wait, wait, there is 10. Oh, okay. I thought she was bidding on something. I'm like, wait a minute. There's a 10 in the chat. No, there's 10 people chatting. So <laughs> any, anybody who uh, purchased anything, we will all send you invoices for the products. And um, that's really it. Yeah, I'll do mine after uh, probably like about Friday because after that I'm done with my auction. So, in case you guys are on any of the other ones that I'm on, yeah. Uh, as we said we like to combine all the shipping. I'll do mine. Well, I only had the one person, and if she comes, you know, comes on on Friday, she can just add to it. So, nice so take care, and we'll see you then. Bye bye. Have a good night.